New developments that are only on 10 tonight. After failing to appear in court, a state lawmaker's son stands before a judge. He is in hot water after being a no-show in court, forcing Rhode Island State Police to bring him in. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Patrice Wood. And hi, everyone. I'm Dan Jake. So now he's facing felony charges. NBC10 Sierra Putman joins us in Warwick now with the story you'll see only on 10 tonight. Sierra? Well, Patrice and Dan Matthew Filella was arrested earlier today at a local gym, and then he was brought here to Kent County Court where he was arraigned. Now, his mother, Representative Deborah Filella, well, she was also here and tells me her son wasn't trying to dodge court yesterday. He just thought he wasn't supposed to appear. Dressed in a sweatshirt and sweatpants, Matthew Filella stood before a judge and was arraigned for his part in this November 22nd hit and run crash. NBC 10 cameras were the only ones there as he arrived in handcuffs. State police issued a warrant for his arrest after he didn't appear in court on Tuesday. His mother says it's all a misunderstanding. You we didn't think you had to be in court. We didn't think we had to be. I mean, he even said to me Monday, I, I think I should probably be there. He had to work. And I said, no, they told us we didn't have to go. And, and I talked to the lawyer today, and the lawyer did say it's on the system that says. That, that court date has been changed to January 6th. Falella was originally supposed to be arraigned on misdemeanor charges, but those were dismissed and replaced with felony leaving the scene of an accident and obstructing a police officer. Is there anything you want to say about the accident? Your no, son? no, I can't comment on the accident. He's accused of ramming his mother, Representative Deborah Falella's van, into another vehicle while allegedly speeding on Interstate 95. Police say the 28-year-old then fled the scene. He was arrested 10 hours later, too late for drug or alcohol testing. NBC 10 spoke to the victim days after. He left the scene not even knowing whether I was dead or alive in that vehicle. And if I didn't have my seatbelt on, the state police officer said I'd probably be dead. Mike Clementi told me over the phone he's glad state police brought forth stiffer charges. And the judge set Filella's bail at $5,000 with surety. Now, he did make bail, and he's supposed to be due back in court in January. Reporting live in Warwick, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.